I have indicators that are telling me that there's like an 80 to 90 percent chance that we've we've hit the bottom, you know. And if you don't buy around now. Hello everyone, today our guest is Sam Price, as known as Crypto Lifer. He is a full-time trader and a YouTuber. In this video, Sam Price, aka Crypto Lifer, talks about the current crypto and Bitcoin market and predicts short-term and longer-term price range. If you enjoy this highlight videos, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you. Bitcoin begins a key week of internal and macroeconomic events, still trading above $20,000. After its highest weekly close since mid-September, BTC USD remains tied to higher levels within a macro trading range. The bulls have been keen to shift the trend entirely, while warnings from more conservative market participants continue to call for macro lows to enter next. So far, a tug of war between the two parties is what has characterized BTC price action, and any internal or external triggers have only had a temporary effect. What could change that? The first week of November contains a key event that has the potential to shape price behavior going forward, a decision by the United States Federal Reserve on interest rate hikes. In addition to other macroeconomic data, this will form the backdrop to overall market sentiment beyond crypto. Let's go back to September 22nd. You have mad lines there. Life September 22nd of 2022, all right? And you could see clearly, this is a rising wedge, okay? On the four day chart for the dollar index, all right? Rising wedges break down 68% of the time. So 70% of the time, this is going to dump on your face. All right. So you just that's and that's a rule, right? That's just like a known pattern. Now, I also use divergences. What divergences are is you 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 want to juxtapose this angle on the RSI with this angle on the price action. And see, if you take this white line and you kind of couple it as the angle, you see it's a pretty, you know, it's a very almost a vertical line. It's like, you know, it's a it's like a 75 degree angle or something like and this one's flat. Right. And so that tells you that there's a high probability that the dollar is going to tank. OK. Ooh. And when the dollar dumps and then what you can do is what I can teach, I can teach beginners this stuff and you can juxtapose it. You can be like, look, Bitcoin had a rally. Right. In basically of let's say here. Bitcoin had a rally in April 2020. Remember when it hit that high? Yes. The dollar started to dump here in April and May of 2020. That was Bitcoin's rally right there. So when the dollar dumps, you get a Bitcoin rally. It's here, like look, trading. Yeah, here's June of 2017. And then, you know, or January, you know, it's like, and then we start to dump. Bitcoin has its rally in 2017, right? This, there's Bitcoin's real rally right there, December 2017. And the rally ended when Bitcoin found support. You're done. Yes. And then we have a bear market while the dollar rises. Bear markets are when the dollar goes up, bull markets for Bitcoin are when the dollar dumps. So I wait to buy Bitcoin till I see the dollar getting exhausted. Once the dollar gets exhausted, I figure that it's just, I, ha I have a very high probability of making good money. The overall theories of what I teach are very, very simple. This dotted line goes above, this area goes above the dotted line, right? Yes. The dollar dumps. This area is above the dotted line, like the dollar starts to dump. This area is mm. above the dotted line. Like, so like, do you buy, so, so should you be selling Bitcoin when the dollar index is up here above the dotted line? When it showed you the last seven years that, you know, every time you got that high, it was the best buy for Bitcoin. So. These are your Bitcoin bottoms when the dollar was about to dump. And here we are again. So I juxtapose that. That's a big dump, though, if it does happen. No, it did, though. Look, I mean, look, I mean, I, let me I'm going to delete everything because I can recreate this later. But okay. we watched this and I mean, this was beautiful. So look. So here, I think like the replay doesn't work that well on the dollar index for some reason. It's been like acting funky. They did something new to it on trading. Board. Yeah, one of the story is I, this was the high I'm telling you right here. We collapsed, right? Once we lost 114.75, ah. we tried to come back and we got rejected here by 113. All right. I was so then I made this this pattern here, and I was like, we need to bearishly retest this trend line and dump to the downside. And we did. And the second we hit this, boom, I began a long Bitcoin on that, you know. So and now I'm watching Bitcoin on the seven. We may actually have another severe dump here. Look, the dollar index is in what's called a bear flag right now on the seven minute. That looks ugly. 
This morning, I put this out and said, we're going lower, or last night. And we went bait right to my measure move. See that? Yeah. Last night, uh, two days ago, I put this out and said, that's a bear flag. We're dropping it. And I took the length of the this pole here. And that's where we went, you know? Wow. See? Whoa. Bang. That's so now crazy. I'm doing the same thing. And I'm telling you, and if you juxtapose the charts, right, by putting them side by side, and we'll go to a Bitcoin chart, okay? And I, I love this. This is my life. It's like Legos to me. Um, so, and we get rid of some of this stuff and you look, it's like, I'm going to go to the seven minute chart, hit auto here. Does seven minutes have a significance? I'm just asking. I started trading it because it's halfway. I like the 15 mm -hmm. and there's like, you don't really want to trade half minutes. That's, that's know? really crazy. I, I know minute charts are really difficult. So I started trading the seven minute chart and see tonight, I mean, we want to see the dollar come up a little bit and just take this dump. And if this dumps down, I mean, we're going to get another pump for Bitcoin up to about 21,400 area, right? Oh. So it could get a little juicy tonight. Eventually, we're going to cool off, of course. Like, you don't run up forever. But it's it's getting zesty. I'll tell you that. Says zesty you. for sure. I know you we know? hit 20 today. Do you think we can maintain this? Because... I don't know. I'm just so sick of like seeing like Bitcoin it's this right here. I'm telling you fall through. Well, look, we have what's called in crypto and trading in general an SR flip, which is called a support and resistance flip. Yeah. You'll have a resistance, resistance, resistance. You get above it. Now you're using it as support. Mm -hmm. And I see an inverted head and shoulder here now, which tells me there's a 70% chance, 68 that we are going to break out of this to the upside and that we will go further than this high here. What you're looking for, because we could come up and make the M. We make the M, the M will dump us, okay? Yeah. So we got it basically tonight or by tomorrow, like two in the afternoon, Bitcoin's got to close a candle above 20,994 to remain bullish. If it doesn't close a candle in the four hour or the daily tomorrow night by 8 p.m., at about 2994 because it has 24 hours really right yeah so it, that means it's gonna be, 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 be yeah, you know it's like but if we see a nice decisive pump and a bounce i mean so this that's why i trade the 15 and the seven they give you the fat it's it's basically they give you the fastest response the four hours overbought the rsi is high and you have tweezer tops that's highly likely you're going to it's dump. A dump yeah it's very likely right i look at the small time frames because in my lifetime I've just been like, yeah, I'll short that in the small time frame. short squeezes you and you end up getting rocked. So I can teach people how, how to basically not get leveraged out of the trade. And I use Bookmap doing that. This is Bookmap and Bookmap will show me like liquidity areas, right? Oh, wow. So like, all day we had huge liquidity up here. And so what I'll do is, and that's, that's someone who just got liquidated right there for $7,000. That's three accounts just got liquidated right now. Like that person just, these are all short liquidation. What? These are all people who shorted the market today and they got absolutely wrong. 16,000, 29,000. It looks 40, like 000. the chart solar system over here. What am I looking at? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, so this is showing me where the orders are on the order book, right? Wow. So this is Binance Futures. It's telling me this guy wants to buy 523 Bitcoins at 21,100. But this dude wants to buy 600 Bitcoins and another 449 at 20,006. The heat map shows me that there's more Bitcoin wanted to be bought than sold. Nine out of 10 times, the market maker and the volume and the liquidity are gonna get dragged to the place of the most, the, where the most orders are waiting for it because the exchanges make the most money when they make the most, no, when they make the most transactions, right? Yes. So it's just, and it's not even like, people think it's conspiracy theory and it, it's more of like how energy moves in life and like energy just forms more into more energy. So like this price action is gonna find out where it can mingle the most. So like. We're likely, and that's a huge buy order though. Like if we even get to 20,300, so these huge orders, look, they're buying, this guy in this whole area, 358, 468, 692, 200. I mean, we're looking those at are, two, $3,000 of Bitcoin. We get two, 3,000 Bitcoins, like 2,000, 3,000 Bitcoins. Yeah, right that's here. what I was wow. saying. Like, I've been saying time. the bottom's been in for like, and again, but I, because I'm a true OG trader and I read Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas and I took from 60 year old traders and he said, Sin, you can never say you know where price is going. That's the biggest no-no as a trader. So I can't tell you the bottom's in. What I can do is I buy Bitcoin in front of you. Exactly. Right? exactly. I buy a whole bit. My, I don't know where the bottom is, 
but I know the indicators that tell me the highest highest probability. Another cool thing you can use is the crypto fear and greed index. I used to think it was yes. that. This is a, whenever we get down here, it's heavy fear. When we dump to 17.5 down here on this wick, that was this heavy thing fear. went all the way to like six, seven, eight. And, and, and honestly, I'd only seen it at a nine my whole life. I'd never seen it hit eight or seven or even. So I had to buy Bitcoin at that in that manner, in that place, right? Indicators that are telling me that there's like an 80 to 90% chance that we've, we've hit the bottom, you know? And if you don't buy around now, you may miss, you may miss out. Like, so, and again, I can't guarantee it and I'm still keeping money on the sidelines for 10K. But so because of what I'm involved in and the attention on me for the charts, I really don't have, and it's actually good. It's almost like if you had to build your house in the woods, like. You wouldn't be able to go out and talk to random people and have random, you'd have to be there building the house because the winter's coming. Like if you don't have yeah. the house built, you're not gonna have a place to stay. And my job is like that. I'm as good as my last day of work. And everyone's, you know, as much as they say they love me and everything, people are judging my charts, people are judging my calls. Oh, of course. You know, That's what comes with the territory. I can't lose for a week straight. Like I got a hit and I got to find the probability. And, and that takes a lot of pressure and a lot of my time. The rates decision is due Wednesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, along with an accompanying statement and economic projections. Fed Chair Jerome Powell will then deliver a speech at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, thus completing the backdrop to market reactions. As Cointelegraph reported, there is already talk that subsequent rate hikes will begin to trend toward neutral, marking the end of an aggressive policy enacted almost a year ago. For Bitcoin and risk assets in general, this could ultimately provide some serious fuel for growth as conditions loosen. If you enjoy this highlight videos, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.